What happened to the Asai unpopular or bullied girl after high school? She got crippling social anxiety and major trust issues. She got pregnant and now has 4 kids and 2 divorces at the age of 26. And this ain't a joke. I know this person. She married a lovely, caring man. She worked for a number of years as a computer programmer. They traveled the world. Bought a house. Had a child who is now a wonderful young man. She now is a published author. I am so glad we became friends in junior high. She inspires me. She loved animals so much. Like. Furry level except furries weren't a thing back then. She raises and trains bald eagles now and is a complete. Total badass. A girl in my year was bullied relentlessly for being odd. Unfortunately. She had a very unstable home life and her mother suffered from fairly severe mental health issues. They had a very explosive relationship. One day during class she just couldn't suppress her feelings anymore. So she took a pair of scissors out of her bag and proceeded to cut off all of her hair. Right there at her desk. That was 8 years ago. To this day, she still lives at home with her mother and does some sort of art course at the local college. Things don't always get better for people when high school ends. But I hope she is doing okay. Died of brain cancer. Shame too. She was going to get married. Just the sweetest young lady. The last I heard she was living on the streets. I've actually tried to track her down a few times over the years but she appears to have disappeared. I truly hope she is doing better now. She was a really sweet girl. Other assholes kids would bully her for her weight not realizing she came from an abusive foster home. She got super hot and married the prom king. Just kidding she has 6 cats and works at the dollar tree. She lost a lot of weight. Stopped dressing emo. And became very attractive. She's got a good sense of humor and pokes fun of herself posting old pictures on FB for fun. I've got a great job. A roof over my head. Good health and friends who love me. I'm fine. Outwardly. Married to a wonderful man with two brilliant. Beautiful children. Career I can work on in placeholder fashion while the kids are young but great potential for future developments. Internally I'm riddled with self-doubt. Anxiety and depression. Always trying to please people. Surprised that people seem to like me and anytime I see people talking in low tones to each other. My knee jerk reaction is to think they're talking it about me. I'm 37. Bullying leaves deep. Deep scars. One committed suicide later in her 20s. I think that had more to do with her screwed up family than the bullying. The other is an amazing pharmaceutical scientist. I'm FB friends with her. She's still quirky, odd and not outwardly attractive. But she is happy and living her best life. Never married, though. Has been in a very long serious relationship and not sure why that ended. Continues to be very happy, though. I was the unpopular girl. Never really fit in. Had a rep for being weird. But got good grades. Never really understood what made me weird. Until college got difficult. Eventually went to get checked out because it seemed like my brain was always a bit off. Got diagnosed with autism. Age 21 and it explains a lot. It was just harder to see because of my gender. ASD is underdiagnosed in girls. And because I was an overachiever at school. At the cost of having little ability to make friends and a lot of ability to alienate everyone in every school I'd been to. Girls, if you think something's up, get checked out. If I'd been diagnosed earlier, it might have helped people understand I wasn't just a batty old weirdo. And maybe, my schools would have helped me. Heck, my parents might have understood me better, and not just told me to get over it. It also just helps a lot, knowing it's not your fault. It's made me a happier person. Edit. I still have mental health issues stemming from an ability to cope with social issues. A diagnosis isn't a cure-all. Nor is it an excuse to do anything bad. It's just a means of understanding what's wrong. And leads to support and better management of conditions. She was bullied because she always smelled awful. Had dirty clothes and greasy hair. And every time head lice was spread at the school everyone would accuse her of being the culprit. She dropped out and got married. Got pregnant, but got harassed online for being a teen mum. Then everyone found out that the reason she was always so dirty is because her mother was in prison for child abuse. She didn't know who her dad was and her aunt. 
who had sole custody, made her sleep on the floor with 14 dogs and didn't let her shower. People felt really bad and tried to reach out but she told them all to duck right off. She's really happy with her new family and looks like she's being the best mum. Got a job. Supportive husband and a house of their own. It's sad she couldn't continue with her education because she was so incredibly smart. We went to a really prestigious school and she outperformed everyone. But ended up leaving without any qualifications. I was the bullied girl. They bullied me to suicide attempts. After school I had a great time as a traveling musician. Met my very intelligent and attractive husband. Got married. Purchased a house. Got a dog. Regularly travel and spend time in the great outdoors. And now we're expecting our first child. The two worst bullies both have 3 plus kids with all different dads. One still lives with her parents. The other tends to cling on to different dudes and suck them dry till they kick her and her kids out. I ran into one of them at a wedding we had mutual connection to. She had clearly abandoned all self care, smelled bad, and was drinking heavily. I'm not even mad at myself for feeling so smug as I sat there with my husband and said I guess you peaked in high school I deserve that after what she did to me. She's a manager at Vans. She's beautiful and in a good relationship. I don't know. Who keeps track of the people they went to high school with? That was me. Yay. Having a very sick mom with basically no income and messed up teeth meant I got bullied all of the time. I struggled with suicidal thoughts attempts, went to therapy, and figured out that I needed to get the duck away from that area to sort myself out. I went off very far away to college, graduated with my feet on the ground, found a job I love and am good at, and married the most amazing guy, oddly my crush throughout school from back home. We have a loving, middle class life and home. And I've managed to get better looking since I got clear braces and stayed in shape. Unlike my peers. All I had to do was leave to realize that their little hate bubble was all they'd ever have. I refused to be in the yearbook. Changed my name. Cut off my hair. Changed every aspect of my appearance and personality. Nuked my social media and I'm hoping that in 20 years they'll have either forgotten I existed or assume I died. She committed suicide after struggling with mental health issues nearly her whole life. Wish that I had had the courage to reach out and talk to her, rather than just ignore her and stay in my own isolated bubble. I don't know if it would have changed anything, but it would have been nice to have known her a little better than just as the girl that was always pretty odd and alone and now gone forever. She ended up being valedictorian as well. She was incredibly smart but nobody really knew that. One has a life that's one disaster after another with illness and injury. One transition to male and it all made sense. Now he's super popular and successful. At the 10 year reunion. She was. Elegant. Is the first thing that comes to mind. Pretty yes. Hot yes. But her elegance stood out for me. Being the kid who was unpopular and bullied. I can tell you my personal experience. In high school I was severely bullied about being short, skinny and had some disabilities. So I was beaten up a lot. I was bullied both by students and teachers. Teachers told me that I could not get it to college. Said I was stupid, etc. Now I am a freelance graphic designer and artist who owns a business. DB Art and Design. Making a graphic novel series with a fan base. I also have a high paying job and two college degrees. I also am a fit strong person who does the tough mudder when I'm not working. It may not be the coolest story but I thought you might like it. Edit. Thank you for all the love you guys gave me for this. In order to succeed, you must fight through failure. Drew Bisson. She was bullied due to her crazy hair dye and unusual clothes. She went to beauty school. Worked at a local beauty parlor for a couple of years. Then opened her own place. Then opened a couple more. Then she married a banker and had a couple of kids and a grand house overlooking a lake. Funny how life works sometimes. Simple. I reassure her everything's gonna be alright cause you don't need to be popular or liked in order to have a good life. Especially not in high school. I told her you're likely never gonna see them again. And I've known this girl for quite a while. I knew what it was like to be in her shoes and basically told her you're unpopular for your own good. And that's okay. Keep your crowd small. People don't like those who are different. But the way I see it, different is unique. Just because you're different than everyone else doesn't downgrade you. 
You're just a rose in a field of daisies. Being different is good, but owning it will make you feel a lot more better. We're currently running on 8 months in our relationship and I couldn't be happier. There's nothing I won't do to make her smile. I was the bullied one. Went through university battling depression, but made it in the end. Left the country. Finally found a job after a long search. Got bullied again by my boss, but eventually found a better job through building a good reputation and got promoted. Afterwards still some more struggle at work and an abusive relationship that I successfully left. Now I'm very happy. I have a stable job, a great apartment, an amazing boyfriend, and wonderful friends. Life truly gets better if you stand up again and again. You'll get stronger every time. Well, there's multiple. One dropped out and had a kid with a 35 year old. One got a good job and appears to make bank and seems super happy with her life. Really depends on the reason why they were unpopular, I guess. She was rich. She was smart. But she was a real itch. Now she's exorbitantly rich. Still smart and even more of itch than she used to be. Mind you, most people from my class and school are reasonably to quite successful in life nowadays and came from upper middle class to low upper class families. Most of them are university educated and the few that did live in poverty back in the day have escaped it. She simply had a head start in life and made sure to remind everyone about it every day. I was the bullied girl. Long story short most of my bullies are either single mothers with 3 plus kids, in very bad relationships, jail, work jobs where they are clearly not happy, dead, capital I, however, work in a hospital, married and enjoying a simple life. It's pretty amusing seeing my old bullies turn pale as a ghost when they see me in the street or better yet at my job. For those that are getting bullied my biggest advice is to focus on you and what makes you happy. Sometimes your success and personal happiness is the best duck you. Karma is a real itch and I love it. Colon. Killed herself. For all you bullies out there, know this, your torment doesn't end on graduation day. It lingers. Like a scar. Some people hold that burden for a long time until they finally just can't anymore and at that moment I want you to know that that person's death was seeded many years prior. By you. So if you're a bully, duck you. I'm doing quite well married. Live in a great house. Have a job I still like after 20 years there. And my kid is kind of awesome. Suck it. Paul I still hate you and would dance on your grave. I haven't seen her in years. She was technically popular. But the tides turned and she wasn't liked anymore. Last I saw. She had gained weight but in a healthier way. She recognized me. But I didn't at first. Seems to have calmed down and that's good. I'm happy for her. That was me. I'm pretty much a recluse and I'm very wary of people. I have two close friends and we were all bullied in some way. About a year ago, one of the girls that bullied me invited me to a Mary Kay party. I told her no, but I was socially awkward. Had odd interest. I loved insects, was shy, and had some anxiety from my home life. One of them got into a good college and has a good career as far as I know. The other one shot herself. I became a goddamn engineer and didn't have kids at 19. Ariana Grande used to go to my school. She was bullied a lot. And now she is popular ASF. This girl was bullied for being a witch and does voodoo. She bite her fingers till it bleeds and sips it. Also, she had a crush on our gay math teacher and fantasizes about him being her Christian Grey. She posts it on Facebook too. Also. She made tons of fake Facebook profiles talking it about other people in our class. So yeah she was bullied for it. She started going to the gym and wearing heavy makeup and sexy outfits even when she's in the nearby mall where everyone is just wearing. Simple clothes. We lived in a pretty small city. She also bragged on Facebook that she's the richest in her community college and that she's dating an Arab she met online. Also. She was kind of trending 2 months ago because she was trying to seduce an ex-boyfriend and she didn't know she was actually talking to the current GF. The current GF pretended to be the guy and catfished her and made her wait at the nearby Starbucks for 3 hours then made fun of her. It was all over Facebook, but it was deleted. I actually felt bad for her, but she argued with me for no good reason before. I don't remember but it was pretty childish. 
It seems like she was still struggling with issues that she can't overcome and that even money can't cure. She's from a rich family but she was weird as duck. I wish her well though. Don't know. We are having a 10 year after high school reunion in 2 months. Everyone tried finding her on social media and over other friends. Nobody knows.